Power Director 16 review. I'm going to give you a very basic review on Power Director 16, being it has just come out. And I'm actually surprised I went ahead with this, but I really wasn't going to upgrade. I was like, when Power Director 16 came out, I was like, well, what the heck did they do that's worth me spending my money to upgrade? And I was dead set against not doing it. I really was. I mean, if you compare the versions here, so they had a content pack Premier 3, like big freaking deal. Okay. They add 360 degrees for a lot of different um, editing for 360 degree cameras. Now, I don't own one of those yet. And I'm sure someday I will. It would be awesome to go backpacking, set up a 360 degree uh, camera, and then allow the user to actually scroll around and see the entire campsite while you're actually camping. That would be kind of cool, but this is way down the river for me, so I'm not even using any of this stuff myself right now. And uh, nothing else changed. I mean, you got a video cl collage designer, and probably a lot of people are going to like this because it really makes it quick for editing and doing things, but again, not something that would push me or impress me to spend my money. Then we get down here and we got color matching, we've got LUT support, we've got some HDR effecting, some auto docking. This interests me. Okay, now interest. Now this really maybe 15% would make me want to buy these particular items here. But it wasn't enough to put me over the edge. I mean, I was dead set. I mean, other people I see talking in forums are saying, I'm not upgrading, this thing ain't doing nothing. And this wasn't enough to push push me over. It was like, yeah, I'll wait, I'll wait, I'll wait. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna buy Power Director 16. I might as well wait. And as I went down, then I seen this. I seen True Velocity 7. I went, no way. Oh my. You see, most people don't know what this is. But this word should tell you what it is: performance. This is speed, and boy, does it work nice. And then you've also got where you can um, actually upload QuickTime movies into it too. You can you can import those. But the biggest thing was that Travel Velocity 7. I said, oh, I got to try it. So I downloaded the demo and I gave it a try. And I was like, wow. I mean, did you see that? Crazy, huh? Crazy, crazy how fast that was. And that's that's the amazing part about it. But let me show you what really impressed me with this. Now, speed is important to me. I do have a powerhouse computer. So to the average person, what I run here is like a NASA computer. I mean, I've really got dual GS, uh, GeForce GTX 1080 cards. I mean, I've really got a high-powered system. But when I ran... Power Director 15, and I would go into the green screen. And watch this here when I just double click this. It's like, boom, it's there. I was like, wow, that's amazing. Let me show you that again. Now, you can still go to Designer and go into your PIP and your Picture and Picture or your Mass Designer and do your stuff from here. You can still do that. Okay, so most of your menu items have not changed. So if you're used to using Power Director 15, you're going to be. Using Power Director 16 is going to be no problem. So I double click my green screen and it just instantly comes up. There used to be a delay with Power Director 15. And even when I Chrome key, I was like really impressed with how fast that was. Now, down here where you did the sliders and you used the up and downs here, I would get a little bit of lag, is what I would get. You know, I wouldn't even use the sliders or these numbered things. Normally, I would just um, click it and then type the numbers in and guess what numbers I'm going to use. But because I don't have any lag now, I can really get quite detailed on what I want to do with these. And I mean, I can do them with ones or twos, and it's just really impressive. I mean, just look at that. That's just amazing. Now, another thing that's kind of cool is um, this here, your preview quality. If you don't have a powerhouse computer or you want to speed up your editing time, you can change this to a normal preview or a very low preview. And yeah, it's grainy looking, but you can see what's going on. 
So this will help you with the speed if you've got an actual computer that's a little bit slower or you're on a laptop maybe. So this was really, really kind of cool that this was offered. So as soon as I did that and I was testing it, I was like, oh, wow, I got to have that. So then I went and actually paid to upgrade. And I can't remember what it was, 60, 70 bucks. But when I was done, I was like, and I started playing around with it. I was so impressed with the speed, especially when I started moving multiple clips down here and I started adding transitions and um, all kinds of stuff like that. It's almost like the lag was gone. I was just so amazed. Another thing I noticed when you actually play with the um, with the volume here before, you used to have to get your mouse just right on top of that little white dot and get it perfect before you could up and lower the volume. But with this, you just now get a crosshair, an up and down arrow basically that you just grab and go and you can change your volume to whatever you want and get it going. So that's, that's, that's really, really, really cool too. So there is some minor things going on, but the biggest thing is the speed fix. And I'm a speed junkie. I don't like waiting because uh, then I start clicking two or three things and then I mess things up. And then I got to go back and I'm like, oh, it just really irks me and wastes us a lot of time. Anyhow, if you're on the fence and you like speed like me, then don't wait any longer. Go upgrade PowerDirector 16. You can always download the demo and try it and see if it's for you before you actually spend your money on it. But PowerDirector 16 with the extra speed, I hope they keep enhancing the speed. And if PowerDirector watches any of my videos, keep concentrating on speed because I really like stuff that is fast. Anyhow, guys, if you haven't, subscribe to me because we're going to have lots of tutorials on PowerDirector 16. And it's really not a lot of difference between that and PowerDirector 15. So even if you have 15, most, I'd say 99% of everything is still going to apply. At any rate, hit subscribe, hit the thumbs up, write me a comment. I'd like to know, are you going to upgrade now that you know there's a big enhancement with the speed? Or what's preventing you from upgrading? Or don't you like the stuff that's there? Let me know in the comment section and uh, I'll catch you on the next tutorial, guys.